Tonight on The Reggie Miller Show, we're going to get up close and personal with Governor Evan Vibe. And we'll set our sights on Atlanta with former Olympic gymnast Kelly Garrison. Then turn up the volume for the music of Powertrain. The Reggie Miller Show is brought to you in part by Mountain Dew and Marsh. Now, please welcome our own Olympian, the host of the show, it's Reggie Miller time. have one fired up place here in the warehouse. This is nice. By the way, I'm glad to see that you guys are fired up because I just see one of you for, because you know for a while there I was kind of seeing double there and I'm glad to have just one of you guys in my vision. But to tell you the truth, we only have one Double Trouble show tonight because we got a jam-packed show lined up for you right here in the warehouse tonight. With the Olympic fever running wild in Indy the last few days, we have the perfect guest to help us bring home the Olympic spirit. She is definitely no stranger to the Olympic Games and international competition. She competed in the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea, as well as an array of other international gymnastic competition. My torch lighting bu buddy, Kelly Garrickson, is with us tonight. But people say that double trouble can be twice as nice. See, I learned that from the governor himself from my secret Reggie Miller phone. See, I bet you guys didn't know I had one of them kind of phones, right? He's the new father of twins and in his second term as governor of the state of Indiana. Please help me give a Reggie Miller welcome to the leader of the state of Indiana, Governor Evan Bayh. Uh, quite a welcome, uh, as an Olympian deserves. No, no, this is your state. You know, I'm just glad to be here with you. Doesn't he have like a glow about himself? Can you just tell about the twin? <laughs> so tell me how fatherhood is treating you. Fatherhood's uh, great, uh, Reggie. Uh, the boys are the uh, light of our lives, and it's uh, it's changed our lives a little bit. I look forward to getting home from work a little bit earlier, and. Uh, I don't know about the globe, but if you look a little more closely, you'll find some formula here and some things like that. But uh, <laughs> the, boys are, the boys are wonderful. It kind of puts life in perspective. Now, we all know that having a kid, of course, takes a lot of preparation and so forth. But having twins, did you guys really expect to, you know, you got to buy, you know, like you said, two formulas, two pacer outfits, two, ba got... two pacer basketballs. <laughs> We've got two of everything. And, uh, but it... Uh, as Susan says, it makes uh, we buy in bulk, so uh, there are some advantages to that. But uh, it's uh, it's great. Uh, we have the double stroller, so we're going down the sidewalk. We got two by two, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of nice. She has one, I have one, and uh, the only problem is when one of us is gone, and they're both crying at the same time. That's a handful. Now, does that happen all the time? That if one starts to cry, then the other one there's lead some in? Of, there's some of that. They're 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 pretty well behaved boys, but you know, babies will be babies, and uh, it's. It, let me tell you, it's a handful. At, uh, do at do night. they both, you know, do the back thing at the same time? And <laughs> change the diapers, well, there's uh, there's you know? a little bit of that too. Although uh, I got I got to be honest, Susan does most of that. I, uh, I usually call for assistance when that's going on. But uh, they eat a lot, and so uh, when you eat a lot, uh, the other part happens a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't want to scare you off uh, from all this. It's, now, uh, now Marita and I w were thinking about having kids, but this whole, you know, you got description, to. you're no, kind of you, scaring you, me. You got, you got to. That's only once or twice a day. I'll tell you, Reggie, there is nothing like having your child look up into your eyes and smile. That makes everything worthwhile. You forget about the other part. Now I'm sure you're going to start bringing them to the games uh, next year. 
they're little Pacers fans already, as I was mentioning to you. We got their little outfits, and uh, they'll be uh, they'll be cheering you on. Well, not only myself, but you got Antonio, you got Dale. Well, Antonio's got twins too, so we'll yeah. have that in common. Hey, you know, one of them's a girl. We can start like oh, matchmaking a little bit. You know, they're both at that age. Never too uh, never too soon to start. And uh, Susan's a natural matchmaker, but. I, one of our sons, Nicky, looks like he's going to be pretty tall, so uh, you'll have to give him some pointers when he gets a little bit older. Now, um, Susan's been doing a lot of things on television lately uh, on, on motherhood and so forth. Is she enjoying that as well? She is uh, just uh, a natural uh, mother. She loves it, uh, you know, and I'm just so happy to see her so pleased. And she is doing uh, some reports on children's issues and that kind of thing. It's because we're living it. So uh, she, uh, I come home at night, and I've got a stack of uh, things involving the state, and she's got a stack of uh, children's things. So particularly twins are a little bit different. A, I kind of wonder whether there'll be more mm -hmm. sibling rivalry or they'll be closer because of the same age. And I think there's some of each. So we want to give them every advantage, and she's, uh, she's doing a great job of that. Well, that's great. Will you uh, sit there tight, and when we come back, hear some questions? And... I'd be happy to take questions. All right, Evan Byer, right after this, with some questions for the governor. The Reggie Miller Show is brought to you in part by your Lincoln Mercury dealer and by Ameritech. It's drive one out of the park time at your Lincoln Mercury dealers. Hit a home run with 2.9% financing for up to 48 months or $600 cash back on the exciting Mercury Mystique or the hot selling Mercury Sable. Either way, you'll drive home a winner with total savings of up to $4,010 on Sable LS and up to $3,222 on Mystique GS. But hurry, you've only got a few days left to get into the game. Miss it, and you're out. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. Yeah. I might have told you. Remember, I tell you everything. I'm the one who told her half of... Wait, got a call. Nope, not him. So I'll... Wait him. I see the name the beep. Now, Call D works with Call Waiting. Try it free for 30 days. Congratulations, sweetie. Our granddaughter has my eyes and um, your check. Thing to. Child's play. Shaken, not stirred. Nothing more intense than slamming a dude. Because every kid's a magnet for germs, and every pan's a magnet for grease, there's new Dawn Antibacterial. Cuts tough grease better than any antibacterial. Kills germs on hands, too. New Dawn Antibacterial. Will the pan that made the ribs on Sunday still be soaking Monday? No way. Concentrated Ultra Dawn's more powerful than ever. Use less, soak less. Ultra Dawn gets stuck on grease off better. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for the band Power Train. Yeah. Yes. Joining us in the warehouse is WTHR Zone and the best co-host in the business, Dave Clavero. Dave, I'm sure you've got some great questions for myself and the governor. Am I right? I think so, Reggie. Welcome back. Good to see you and also good to have the governor with us here tonight. Stand up here, big fella. This is uh, Derek. Is that your name? Yeah. Who, who's your question for? Governor. Okay, what's the question? Do you want your kids to follow in your footsteps? Well, Derek, that'll be up. Uh, that'll be up to them. I want our boys to be happy, and uh, if they want to go into public life, I'll sure help them if I can. But I don't want them to do that just because that's what I've done. So, uh, if they choose to do that, I'd be proud. But I just I want them to be happy. So I'll support them in whatever they want to do. Well, that's great. Excellent. I like that jersey. I like that jersey. Hopefully, that that's got a lot of luck in this jersey. Who's your question for? And um, what's your name, first off? Alicia. Um, for Evan By, um, what do you think about the 8 o'clock curfew that President Clinton has proposed, and would you let it pass? Great question, well, young lady. Well, that's a great question. It was, what do I think about the 8 o'clock curfew, curfew that, and? That the, pres the President Clinton has proposed. 
Well, I think in some parts of our country it makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, there is a lot of violence in the streets, and unfortunately, in too many cases, it involves young people. Now, obviously, there's uh, some trade-off there as far as civil liberties are concerned, but when you have people dying uh, in great numbers in some communities, I think we have to take action. So I could support that in, in places that have high rates of crime. That was a great question. Great yeah, it was question. a very good sir, question. how are you doing tonight? Just fine. What's your name, sir? Paul. Okay. This is Paul, and your question's for? I just wanted to ask a question to the governor, and I want you to ask Reggie if he's returning to the Pacers next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't want to put him on the spot, but I can tell you, Reggie, you got my vote. And, you know, taxes are a lot lower in Indiana than in New York or California. Oh, my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I think that was a trick question. No, yeah, I, I'm having a great, uh, you know, I've had a great stay right here in Indiana and with yourself and your family, it's been wonderful. But you're a ringer question. That was nice. <laughs> a ringer question, but a good question. And we, I think we've tried every angle, but not that one yet. How you doing? What's your name, sweetie? Ashley. Ashley, who's your question for? The governor. Okay. Is having the twins everything you expected or more work than you can handle? <laughs> mm. uh, both, Ashley. How about that? It's, uh, it was everything we've expected and more. And uh, there are a lot of uh, joy, a lot of fun, a lot of work, too. But uh, uh, we're just uh, thrilled, couldn't be happier. And uh, I thank you for asking. Now, the nannies help a lot, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, when you have uh, one, I'm sure is a lot. We've never had one. Mm -hmm. But the best advice we got, uh, actually, is from Jane Pauley, also a fellow Hoosier. Right. Uh, they had, she has twins. Her advice was, you got to get help. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, Susan's mom, and ca uh, mom came and stayed with us for a while. But uh, in the long run, you need some uh, additional assistance. And so we're fortunate we do have a wonderful woman who helps us That's out. That's great. I think we got time for one more question. Your name? My name's Molly. And my question is, what are your plans for the future? And what are your political aspirations? Are we going to see you representing Indiana in the Well, future? thank you, Molly. Uh, Susan keeps asking me what my plans for the future are. <laughs> I guess I'll have to tell her to tune into the show here, Reggie. She'll, uh, <laughs> she'll find out. But, uh, well, during the next couple of years, obviously, I want to help take care of our boys and, uh, and support my family. Uh, I love working for the people of Indiana. Molly, it's possible that I might uh, decide to represent us in another capacity if, uh, if you and everybody else would support me. So maybe running for something else at some point. <laughs> Thank you. We see the big picture. You know, us as being Hoosiers, we see the big picture. Maybe President Biden? <laughs> well, only if one of the twins decides to run, uh, right? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, always flattering to uh, be thought of in those terms, but, uh, you know, I enjoy representing our state, and then, uh, you know, the future will take care of itself. Well, I appreciate you coming by. I know you got to get home, change those diapers. Yeah. Tell the wife I said hello, and thanks for coming it. by once again. I love you, Marita. Thank you. Evan Bye right here. We'll Thank be right you. back with Power Train right after this. you got to sign my board, though. I got over to puppy. You don't need an appointment. Just go to CarX for brakes instead of the dealer and you'll save. Enough for new waiters. Get the parts and save big on brakes. I'm gonna buy silk tie. He saved $65. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? New hats for everybody. And she saved on her exhaust at CarX. What you gonna do with all the cash you save? Save a bundle, call the CarX man. It's drive one out of the park time at your Lincoln Mercury dealers. Hit a home run with the lowest lease price of the year on the totally redesigned Mercury Sable. Just two twelve a month. Or get 2.9% financing on a 96 Sable with V6 power. Dual airbags and room for five or six. No wonder sales are up. This is one hot player. But hurry, you've only got a few days left to get into the game. Miss it, and you're out. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. Tonight's Rappin' with Reggie and the Gov is brought to you by Marsh. Reggie Miller goes one-on-one -on -one with Don Marsh. I know how much Indiana loves this basketball. 
And I know how much Indiana loves its Pacers. That's why we've always supported the Pacers. Marsh is a great supermarket, so I'm glad to be teaming up with you to tell me. Excuse me, Mr. Marsh? I hate to interrupt, but may I please have your autograph? Sure. Thank you. I just love your commercials. Marsh, gonna make you smile. Come to think of it, Mr. Marsh, I love those commercials, too. Yeah! Training is such a bore. Nothing's more intense than slamming a dude. Whoa. Whoa. Andre's really on fire. Whoa. Gotta hand it to those new coaches. Bravo! Brilliant! Smashing! Good shot! Out. Welcome back. Thank you. Our musical guest for tonight was so good the first time that we brought them back for an encore. Please sit back and enjoy the music of powertrain. Right back with Kelly Garrison right after this. That was nice, you guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, thanks for coming, my man. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming back, I should say. <laughs> Charles, if I'd heard, I would have told you. Remember, I tell you everything. I'm the one who told you you should wear hats more often. Oh, wait, got a call. Nope, not him. So I'll wait. 
It's him. For the first time, see the name behind the beep. Now caller ID works with call waiting. Try it free for 30 days. Congratulations, sweetie. Our granddaughter has my eyes and um, your hair. <laughs> Ameritech, your link to better communication. It's drive one out of the park time at your Lincoln Mercury dealers. Hit a home run with 2.9% financing for up to 48 months or $600 cash back on the exciting Mercury Mystique or the hot selling Mercury Sable. Either way, you'll drive home a winner with total savings of up to $4,010 on Sable LS and up to $3,222 on Mystique GS. But hurry, you've only got a few days left to get into the game. Miss it, and you're out. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. Tonight's Holding Court with Kelly Garrison is brought to you by your Lincoln Mercury dealer. The Marsh Fresh Idea Card. So versatile, you could say the sky's the limit. Like when you make purchases with your Marsh Fresh Idea Card, it goes toward points for the Marsh Computers for Communities program. That means new computers for schools, churches, and nonprofit organizations. The Marsh Fresh Idea Card, the most valuable thing in your wallet. For more information on computers for communities, call 1-800-811-4567. The Reggie Miller Show is brought to you in part by Marsh and by Mountain Dew. Miller on the stage with Kelly Garrison as the Olympic torch is in Monument My Circle. next guest is an Olympic veteran. She helped me like this, the Olympic cauldron on the circle this past week. She's competed on the women's Olympic gymnastic team in the 88 games in Seoul, Korea. Please give a warm Olympic welcome to gymnast Kelly Garrison. <laughs> Since you were carrying it the last leg, now that had to have been exciting. Oh, it was, it was the best. You, um, I just can hardly put into words what it felt like. Um, as I was running in, I was real concerned about maybe tripping. You know how it <laughs> just turns to brick, and I thought, oh, what if I trip? Okay, first of all, go back. How did you know you were carrying the last leg of the torch? Well, as you know, different Olympians mm -hmm. have been selected to right. run, and so. Um, I had been selected, and mm -hmm. as I, they, they gave me the call, and I was like, really? You know, into the celebration? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't just running, right. but it was running into the celebration and being able to be the last person to kind of help represent right. all the people in, in, in Indiana right. that had already run. So I was thrilled. I mean, I was just like, this is going to be too cool. Okay, so you see uh, the person running the next to the last leg coming up to you, getting ready to light the torch. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how long was it? Maybe a quarter of a mile, a mile? Uh, about not even half of a mile. So it wasn't very far. I mean, right, but see, by the time you're running, that's when the crowd had gathered down downtown. True. True. Yeah, okay. they were they were there. And uh, you know, I was I turned when they he lit the, or I lit the torch right. and when I turned around and saw all the people and they told me you know you can switch hands if your <laughs> arm gets tired so I that is kind of heavy well now. yeah I mean three yeah. pounds and so I'm I'm running and thinking oh this is great and waving <laughs> and then I realized I'm not going to be able to switch hands because I just couldn't stop waving all these kids were waving to me and so I'm going like this and I thought what if I start going like this <laughs> catch my hair on fire but, um, it was it was neat, and then when I kind of made it around the bend, right, and I saw you, I was like, this is this is the greatest. I mean, it was such a thrill. No, it was a thrill for me because they called me as they had called you. Um, your husband Rick said, "Do you want to be part of the the torch lighting ceremony?" I'm like, "Well, sure," and because of proper protocol, you have to be an Olympian, a former Olympian, to run like yourself. So since I was going to be an Olympian, 
you know, in uh, July, I didn't really qualify. So I'm like, was there anything I can do? Well, yeah, you can help accept with Kelly. I'm like, sure. So when I went down and way down the steps and the masses of people that were down there kind of gave me goosebumps. Well, you kind of get used to that. No, I mean, not, you have to admit it, but you're big time. Well, I'm going to tell you this. It, it's <laughs> the difference when you're on a basketball court and they're like, True. you know, when you're actually surrounded by something like that. I, I get guess. nervous, too. Ah, well, I, I don't know, you know, being professional and all. Well, you're professional, too. Now, now tell me um, how 88 was in, in Seoul, Korea. Well, uh, as a team, we finished fourth, and mm -hmm. actually we were very close to a bronze medal, but um, the, well, I was performing on that even bars. A girl was on the podium, and she mm -hmm. was pulling the board, and she was supposed to hop down off the platform, right. and she didn't know this. She had never been in the Olympics either, mm -hmm. and she was our alternate, so when she just kind of crouched down behind the board, she didn't want to get in trouble.